All right, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna show you a quick routine to help relieve sciatica. Um, now, disclaimer, if any of these motions hurt or cause pain, stop or back off, okay? The other thing too is I recommend go see a physical therapist, make sure that you're doing consistent treatment, working with somebody that can help you with this. But if you do these drills, you should find some relief. You gotta do these consistently. Um, but again, if any of this hurts, back off of it, you know, or don't do it, okay? So first you're gonna start with brain drills. Brain drills, eye drills, tap into the spine, the cerebellum. So what you're gonna start with is, is we're gonna do three drills. The first drill is you're gonna need some type of a pencil or a pen that you can look at, some, an object. You're gonna bring it in front of you. You're gonna keep your eyes fixed on the object and you're gonna turn your head left and right. You're gonna go up and down, again, keeping your eyes fixed, and then maybe do some circles. Okay, so you're gonna do that anywhere from maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, the second drill uh, that you're gonna do is eye circles. So again, you're gonna need a target, something to follow, a pen, a pencil, okay? So I'll show you with the pen. I'm gonna look at one of the letters on the pen or the top of the pen, and I'm just gonna do circles and now this time my eyes are moving and my head is staying still. So small circles right in front of the face, do a few one way, do a few the other way again, just follow with the eyes, don't move the head. Okay, the last drill that we're gonna do is we're gonna do two standing positions. So the first position is gonna be feet together. Can you get, oh yeah, there you go. Feet together. You're going to, and so this is what you're going to do. Whatever side that you're having the sciatica on, you're going to rotate away from that side. So let's say, for example, it's on your left side. You're going to rotate to the right. You're going to bring your hands up, or you're, you're, you want two tools, a two pen and pencil. You can use your thumbs, but pen and pencil is better. And from here, it needs to be wide enough. And now what you'll do is you'll flick your eyes back and forth. Maybe pan around a little bit. Okay. So I'm rotated to the right, away from the side that the sciatica is, and I'm flicking my eyes between the two targets. It needs to be pretty wide. You do that about 20 times. Again, try not to move the head, just the eyes. The second position is the foot, the, the side that you're having the pain on, you're actually going to put behind, so left side, and then now what you'll do is, again, you're gonna rotate away from that side, and we're gonna do that same saccade, flicking the eyes back and forth between the two targets. This one can be pretty difficult. There's definitely a balance. You need to engage the glute of this leg. Again, flicking the eyes back and forth, try not to turn the head. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a nerve floss for a sciatica. So you're gonna go whatever side the pain is on. Let's say it's on the left side again. We're gonna stay with the left side. Left or right, you're gonna do that side. Now, again, pain-free. So if you're doing this and it's causing pain or discomfort, back off of this exercise. Either don't do it or small range of motion. The other thing that you need to make sure of is you're moving through the neck and upper back. We don't want to collapse through the lower spine, through the lumbar. We want to just move through the head and upper back, the neck and the upper back. So what you're going to do from here is, you're going to extend your leg, toes to shins. You're going to look up and back. Maybe put your hand on your lower back so you don't overarch the lower back. And from here, you're going to come down gently, bring the shoulders and neck down. Go very slowly, pain-free range of motion. So come up, extend the leg, look up and back, take the eyes up, up through the neck and upper back. Come down, bring the eyes down, bring the shoulders down and forward, just not through the lower back. A couple more.
Again, only going to do a few reps of those, pain-free range of motion. If it hurts, don't compress in the lower back. Lower back stays flat. Work through the neck and upper back. Again, pain-free range of motion. All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, a stretch to do and a little bit of like an activation, stretch activation in the hips. Then we're going to go into like a glute bridge and a core activation as well with another brain drill to finish it all off. So what you're going to do here again, we're going to start on the side that's affecting you. So if it's the left side, start on the left or right, whatever. As always, pain-free range of motion. So if this bothers you and there's pain or triggers you know, sciatica, then adjust the position or just don't do it, avoid it. Okay, so all this needs to be pain-free range of motion. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your foot wide, you're going to make kind of like a J. Take your other foot on top of the leg here. And the first part is you're just going to hang out and let everything relax for about 10 to 30 seconds or so. So just let it all relax. That foot needs to be outside. Mm -hmm. And then the second part of this, you're going to actively push and squeeze at the same time. Okay, so I'm pushing this knee up, I'm pulling down on my foot, again, holding, squeezing. In 10 to 30 seconds, pulling this down, pushing, creating tension, in pain free. And the last part, I'm going to actively try to lift and separate these two. Driving the knee down, lifting up. Then finally, just relax again, hang out there for a few seconds. Okay, and then we we'll go to the other side. So foot is out. Now again, if you switch sides and it hurts, avoid that. Pain for your range of motion. So just hanging out here for a sec. I'm going to squeeze, push down, push up. Create tension. Now I'm going to try to separate. So now we're going to go into a hip bridge with a leg lift. So what we're going to do is hips and knees are in alignment, okay? Feet are straight. We're going to push up into a bridge. Now don't over arch. This isn't like over arching. All you're going to do is lift the butt off the ground a few inches and activate your glutes. You don't want to arch into the back. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the leg up, hold for a sec, come down, lift and squeeze. Hold for a sec. Pain-free range of motion. Butt is tight. Abs are tight. Very slowly. five to ten reps on each side. Okay? All right, cool. So the last one we're going to do, we're going to do a core activation. Um, this is like a, a hollow body or a hold, like a crunch. We're going to combine this now with a brain exercise. I'm going to show you two versions. So the first version, you're going to lay back, you're going to lift the legs up, point the toes, squeeze the legs, lift the shoulders off the ground, abs are tight. We're going to bring the thumbs out, and we're going to do the saccade. So we're going to flick our eyes back and forth. They need to be pretty wide. About 10 to 20 times or more. Now, if this position is too difficult, put your knee or your feet on the ground, bend your knees, crunch from here. Again, abs are tight. Bring the thumbs up and then flick the eyes back and forth. Again, 10, 20, 30 times on each thumb. Pain-free range of motion. Um, if any of these hurt, back off. Make sure you're seeing a physical therapist or you're getting evaluated or you're doing a lot of this consistently. Consistency is key in order to get better and feel better. So um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, please comment below or message me. And um, yeah, I hope this helps.